What's up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's Mike. And Tyler. And we were in the city of Harbor here in week three for Pauly at Narbonne. You never want to say this early in the season that it's a must-win game, but at 1-1 one one with a disappointing loss to St. Bonaventure, the Rabbits definitely need this one. And they're coming out looking good in the all-gold unis. I love to see it. Yeah, the Academy Award look. Look good, play good, right? That's right, and they look like Oscars. That's an award-winning <laughs> performance, just, uh, just dressing up. Just walking out on the field. Now, they're trying to contain a very uh, athletic Narbonne team, which, you know, both defenses played well in the first quarter. So we're going to pick it up here in the second, where the scoring starts and rarely stops. Keep your eye on that clock. It's 11:22. We will have more to see here in the first half of the second quarter. This is Kelton Malbo, for example. Name you may not have heard, but you're going to see him plenty in this video. Yeah, he busts off a nice one here, tying up the scoring at 7, but it doesn't take long for the Gauchos to get right back at it. Long run from Noel Rankins, who had a night pretty much filled with him. He had 20 carries for 217 yards and a touchdown. This will put Narbonne up by a touch. But don't blink. Randall, go forth and back and forth and back again. On a long kickoff return for the touchdown. Great spin move for the broken tackle. This is going to tie it back up at 14. But, of course, the Gauchos had more to say. This is Rankins on an 80-yard touchdown. Their first play after Goforth's touchdown. So, all of a sudden, no scoring. Six minutes in, we've had five touchdowns. Tale of two quarters, Mike. No kidding. And, finally... Some defensive highlights. Poly defense woke up a little bit, shutting it down. On offense, they're going to keep going to Melville. You might as well play the hot hand, and this one's right into your living room. Whoa. At halftime, we got a 2014 ball game still definitely up in the air, but the defense for Poly came out playing inspired. Great field goal blocked by Dabnis Atkins. Double fuck. <laughs> Get some, Dab. The defense looked like an entirely different unit after halftime. Turley must have told them something to get them going. And that gives the offense a little space to operate. Richie Rich Smith with the burners down the left sideline sets up Malvo's second score of the game. He was 27 for 161 with the two scores. Polly takes a one-point lead, and oh my, defense. Yeah, the Polly wall really woke up, like we said, putting pressure on the quarterback, getting some stops, getting the ball back to that offense so Malvo could pound it out and wear that clock down. And they were hassling the quarterback for most of the fourth quarter as Narbonne trying to get their way back into this. And hey, sometimes just the sight of Matt Rowe is enough to make you want to lay down. I understand. <laughs> They're going to put the defensive cherry on top here with a safety. That's true freshman Jason Fao playing at defensive tackle. Coming up big for his team. Now an interception by Chase Hales here is going to give the Gauchos a little bit of life. We're very late in the game here, but they are in Pauly's territory. Trying to march towards a, 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 I don't want to say an upset, but definitely a surprise with the way that Polly's defense had stepped up. So, we find ourselves at 4th and 8, last play of the game, under 90 seconds left. Who's going to step up big? Oh, that's Michael Teo, and that's what I call a sack munch. Oh, no, 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 no. We are Polly! We are Polly! Four one of us! There's all of us! We are Taylor! We are Lloyd! We are Taylor! We are Polly! There's all of us! Paulie's going to try and rest some guys up. They're going to need everyone against top-ranked Mission Viejo next week at Vets. 